Right guys, I'm playing I'm playing this um Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on Steam Deck. I'm using DS for Windows as my mapping program and I'm also using the DualSense controller to play the game. Right, so everything on here is running on low. Damn. How come I can't what the how bad a player can you be? Oh wait. <laughs> so um I run this on AMD FSR 2.1. Um trying to think where someone would be running to. And Oh yeah, I run this on minimum, um, and that's like the lowest quality thing. Oops, this guy is run across. And then basically I run this on minimum, um, and then I run this on quality, and I also use AMD FSR 2.1. Um, Wow, look, look at them. They're right around this entire thing. Right, there's someone behind here. What the? Wait, my gamepad's not working. What's going on? Why is this always happening to me? Oh my god, my gamepad's not working. What the hell, man? Oh, uh, what? That sucks, man. You know, I've got all these features, now I can't use them. I can't use the features that I've got. Ah, oh, come on, man. Right, so I run this game, I run this game on medium. I uh, use AMD FSR 2.1. I also use quality, and that's the setting for the AMD upscaling. Um, Man, how else do I change this thing? Look at that. I've got all these score streaks and I can't use them because this 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 silly gamepad thing, this DS4 Windows thing has just decided to use a default um, mouse thing instead of using... You see, instead of using the Xbox one, I set it for Xbox. I don't know why it's changing. Now I can't even get out the game. I have to wait for the game to end. And I got all these score streaks that I could have been using, that could have been giving me extra points. And now I can't use them because of this silly thing option. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I've got, I've got the gun thing. I've got the cluster mines. And I've got the um, thing, the radar one, the one that will help my team find these other people. I can't use none of this because for whatever reason, my, um, my uh, default... Ah, where did this thing go to? No, it's, it's boring. Why, why do this now when I'm... I, I, this is the, the best gameplay I've ever had. And this thing just decides, nope, it's not going to allow me to enjoy... The um, you know, it's just annoying, man. It's 
Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just like, what's what's going on with this thing? I'm no, you see, I I can see everything. I can see everything on my. I can see everything on my gaming uh thing monitor. So I can I can see everything. You see that it keeps saying that I've got all these score streaks, but I cannot use them because this this silly thing will just won't let me. You see cluster mine all the stuff. Oh my god. I've, I've how many times has it given me a cluster mine twice now? And I, I can't use it. I'm just like, why? What's going on? Man, this is so irritating. Wait. You know one thing? Maybe I might be able to fix this. But, uh, yeah. Let me do this. Um, I think we're going to win anyway. But, I mean, it's just boring. I want to use remote uh, thingy. Des desktop on my thing. Right, let me let me use my my phone. If I can if I can use remote desktop. It's too late. <laughs> we we won anyway. But this is this is like really messed up. This is really messed up. Why why do this? I had so many score streaks. I had so many score streaks. I could have gained more than this. Right, so I'm actually in my other monitor. Why did it change? Right, now we should be using the correct one. Man, it's 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 so boring. I just looked up, right? Because I noticed that when I was pressing the D-pad, I couldn't use the score streak. So I was like, what's going on with the score streaks? Because I can't, I'm noticing that I can't use them. So I was like, what's going on with these score streak things? You get me. So I do know when when I can use a score streak and I know when there's a problem. So I'm just like looking at this thing and I'm wondering like, how come I can't use my score streaks? Because I, I had cluster mines twice, you know. Imagine how many kills I could have gotten. Oh my god, my gamepad's gone. What the hell is going on with this thing? What is happening? Oh my god. Why, why, why would that happen? See, that's what I'm looking at. I'm just... Okay. All right, got my gamepad back. All right. I was wondering, like, what's going on? Man, that messed me up, man. I, I got cluster mines twice, and I couldn't use it. I was like, what's going on with this game? What's this? Domination. What are we doing? Domination. Let's... My God. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, damn. He was lucky. He was so lucky that that mine did go up, but it didn't get him. Oh, nice one. No, I got I got cluster mines twice. That's why I was so like, 
annoyed because I couldn't use I couldn't use the things. Ah damn! I couldn't I couldn't use anything. I basically, I basically couldn't use any of the score streaks, and I got that gun thing. You know that uh, turret thing that you can have. I got that. I got the turret thing. I couldn't use it, so I was just like, "What's up with this game?" That was really annoying. Oh my god, I didn't see that dude. Oh my god. Um when you when you want to play this game, uh like I said, just run this on minimum. Uh use AMD FSR 2.1. Use AMD FSR 2.1. Use quality, use minimum. Uh find the spot catch. Go into the menu again and find spot catch and then uh spot catch will be set to high and then it does use a lot of vram so you need to turn that to you need to turn it from high to low and then it will it will tell you that the settings you have are custom it's okay don't worry about it custom just means you've probably changed something so that's that's all that it's it's doing Oh my god. Right. So how do I rate this game on the Steam Deck? I I rate it really high. It's a very good game. It's very entertaining. It works really well on Steam Deck. Uh, so I would ignore all the people who are saying it doesn't work. It does work. It it works. But the thing is, the if it's not working on your Steam Deck, I I would say. I'm going to say, I'm going to say maybe the, the reason why it's not working on your Steam Deck is because you haven't changed the VRAM. You can change this. You can change this in, um, you can, you can change the VRAM in BIOS. Um, so how do you get into your BIOS? Well, basically you need to get, um, you need to turn off your Steam Deck. That's the first thing. Turn your Steam Deck off. You need to turn off your Steam Deck. You need you need to turn your Steam Deck off completely. Once the Steam Deck is turned off, you need to press the, the plus button and the power button at the same time while the Steam Deck is turned off. And then um, it will take you into the BIOS. You'll hear a, a weird little chime. If it, if it makes that chime, it's um, just let go, of the, um, uh, let go of the power. You only press the power once, yeah? It's, it's more or less like starting up the Steam Deck. And besides that, besides the, besides setting up the Steam Deck, all you've got to do is um, once it takes you into the BIOS. So basically, you turn off your Steam Deck completely. Once it's completely, totally off, uh, and you know it's off, then you press the power, uh, the plus button, and the power button at the same time, but only, only for a few seconds. 
you don't you don't keep pressing it like you know you do not keep pressing the the power button you just press it once uh i mean sorry uh you turn off your sim deck then you hold the plus and the power button at the same time you press the, the 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 plus button and the power button at the same time when you hear the chime it will make that little noise that it normally makes when you you know when you turn it on your steam deck when you hear that little noise turning on well you, you, when you hear the chime right you hear that that little noise it makes you let go of the power but you keep pressing the plus so it's 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 more or less like a combination it's a combination of the power and the plus button to get into to get into the um, thing to get into the bios so what i'm saying is uh it's a combination it's a plus and the power button uh you only let go of the power button once you hear the chime that little noise that it makes and after you hear the noise after you hear the noise that it makes oh wait i think i saw someone after you hear the noise that it makes So basically, once you hear, uh, once you hear, it, once you hear it making that little noise, you let go of the power. Yeah, you let go of the power button, but you keep pressing the plus button. So that's why I say it's a combination. Uh, once you completed that, and it takes you into the BIOS, there's uh, four options. You need the second from the top option on your right. So on the right hand side of your screen. So, so that's that's why I'm saying it's uh, it's um, four options. You need the option on the right hand side of the screen, and the option you're looking for would be the option. The option that you're looking for is the one that's on the right hand side, and it's the second option. They're like in squares basically. So you get the top section. The second section is what you want on the right hand side of the screen. Like I said, it's just boxes of four. You you can't miss it. You 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 can't you can't miss it. And then basically, once you've selected that option, once you've selected the 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 second option on the right hand side, um, I think it's the the UMA. It's called the UMA. The UMA is what you want to change because that's your frame buffer. The frame buffer is basically the VRAM. So I know it's 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 it won't be written like VRAM. So if that's what you're looking for, if that's what you're looking for, you're not gonna find it like that. It it won't it won't be written like VRAM. That's why I'm saying you you will not find it written that way. So basically you need to So basically what I'm saying is you, even if you select the second option from the right hand side of the screen, you're not going to find that option written like VRAM. It's, it's written as U, UMA. So once, once you do get, that, um, get to that option of UMA, then basically um, So once you get to the options of the UMA, uh, then basically all you need to do in there is change it from 1 gig to 4 gig. It's just 4G. So it's like 1G to 2G uh, and then it's got 4G. That's Those are the options that's got if you're going up. If you're going down, it has... Um, it has... So if, if you are going down, the options that it does have is that it's got... The 
the options options that it does have is if you're going down it's got 1g then it's got 512 um uh, m megabytes then it's got 256 megabytes and i think that's i i don't know if it goes lower than 256 megabytes so what what i'm saying is it's it's you can actually go down in the vram or you can go up in the vram so it's not always up so if you decide like you're not playing uh 3d type of games uh you, you're not really bothered with the vram you, you just want it lower than that then on the uma the frame buffer you can change that all the way down to 256 megabytes but you have to remember that that's going to make the steam deck um kind of not work uh properly so don't do it for fun and then start showing it on youtube and say look what i'm doing 256 megabyte i'm gonna play call of duty call of duty won't run you need to set it uh, from 1G to 2G and then up to 4G. I have tested Call of Duty on 2G, but it doesn't work properly. So you need to go all the way up to 4G. And then once you've set it, uh, don't exit from there because it can exit without saving changes. You need to kind of come out of that option. Uh, the instructions are all there on the BIOS. And then you come out of it. And then when you're about to exit, you just select the one, exit while saving changes. Click on that one. And the steam deck will restart and uh you just check on your if you're on windows you can go into settings go to display and i think it's this um on that one if if not uh you can always left click on the on on your home screen you know on windows and then you can left click and then you can go to or no no you can go to file explorer and then in file explorer just look for this pc and click on them and you can just get the you, I mean, you you will all you will always find it. Or go to Display Manager. The, I think Display Manager is better. J just look for your um, look for your graphics uh, thingy on Display Manager. If you if you look on the display, if you go to Display Manager, it will always show you the kind of graphics you are running. Um, it it will always show if you go to Display if you go to uh, Control Panel. Uh, control panel and then you go to the display manager it will always show you what you're using um i mean in terms of the graphics thingy uh your display thingy you know you're looking at that thing and then when you're going into the properties it will normally just show you it'll it'll normally just show you what what you're using so what i'm basically damn it So basically, what I'm saying is, uh, you you can uh, use Control Panel, and in Control Panel, look for Display Manager, and in Display Manager, just look for your um, uh, just just look for your thing. Um, in Display Manager, it shows you everything that the Steam Deck's got. You're looking for the one that that shows your monitor stuff, and in there is how you will check. Damn. I didn't realize there were two of them. So um, what, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, um, what I'm saying is, um, in in uh, control panel, go to display manager, and then look for your display stuff. You know anything that shows the monitor stuff, and in there just left click and look for properties. In properties, you can always check to see how much VRAM you've got, and that's another way of checking. It will it will show you the properties thing. And then obviously you can just um, you know look at that, and it will always show you what you've got. So that that is why I'm saying ah damn that 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 that's why I'm saying there there's so many ways of checking. I normally use Control Panel, Display Manager, or uh, then you go for your properties in your display thingy or your monitor stuff. Or the other way I use is this PC on File Explorer. If I'm not doing it that way, if I'm not using that method, oh my god, that really blinded me. If okay, there's there, there's three ways that I can check. I use the control panel, display manager, then properties, and then look at the monitor and look at the properties in there, and then I'll find the VRAM. Or I can go to settings. 
or I can go to the settings. Uh, or I can go to settings and then go to display. And in there, I can actually find the, um, the same thing. I mean, it'll, it'll just, it'll just, it'll just take me. It, it, it will just take me to the, ah, oh, damn. Because basically in the display, the display one will, will, will just do the same thing, except it doesn't take you to the, the display manager stuff. You know, it doesn't show all that stuff. It's, it's just going to do the same thing and, and show you what, um, there's a dude in here. Damn. Um, so, so what I'm saying is the display does exactly the same thing the display manager would have done, except it just shows you a smaller box. And in that smaller box, obviously, um, you, you will see your, um, your, how much VRAM you've got. It just, it's just a pop-up, you know, it's, it's, it's similar to display manager, except it doesn't open up the entire menu of everything connected to your steam deck. It just only shows you, only shows you your, um, the pop-up and then in the pop-up you'll notice how much VRAM you've got. So, so that's why I'm saying, uh, there's various ways that I can check. Uh, okay, I can use control panel uh, to find display manager. And display manager, I just have to look for the monitors and then look at properties and that will show me VRAM. I can use the, the um, I can use the settings I can use the settings. You know, that was weird. They were shooting at one another, but they're in the same team. I just thought that was weird. Right. Um, ah, damn. I need it to reload. Right. Um, first option that I would use is control panel, display manager, then look at the monitors, look at the properties. And in there, you'd, you'd be able to see your VRAM. Um, wait, let me, if I can just get close enough. Oh my God. Right. Um, this, uh, sorry, control panel, display manager, prop, uh, monitors, then properties, and you see your VRAM. Other option, other way of doing it. Other way of doing it would be. Other way of doing it would be uh, settings, and then, like I said, in settings you just look. Um, in settings, find your display, and then in your display, uh, the same thing. It just just scroll down to the to the almost to the bottom of display, and then you'll find uh, you'll find the thing where it says list uh, displays thingy. I don't know what it's called unless I'm looking at it, but it's it's in display. You can't miss it. Just scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll find it. And then it's it's either it will be written graphics or or something else on there. I just forget what it's called. So th that's that's why I'm saying there's so many options now on my gun. <laughs> I don't want that thing. Damn, who shot this one? Ah, damn. So that's what I'm saying. Control panel, control plan. Uh, sorry, control panel, display manager, properties. Second way, uh, settings, display, and in display, it's just a pop up. Okay, so the first one, like I said, sorry guys, I, I keep, uh, well, we want, thank you. Okay, so the first one is control panel, display manager, and in display manager, just look for your monitors, and then in there, just look for properties. Left click, look at the properties, it will show you VRAM. Second option is settings, then display, uh, and in display, scroll right down. Once you select, you go into settings, then uh, cl click on, um, on the display one in settings, on if your Windows 11 is easier, Windows 10, uh, you know, 
anyway it's it's in display scroll all the way to the bottom you can't miss it it's either graphics or the other one but graphics is just when you want to add games or apps uh, so they run with your steam deck better in high performance uh so you need the second option which is less display uh whatever it is and then click on that and it's a pop-up and you show your vram the other way i can do it is i go to the file explorer and then i um in file explorer itself this this pc uh look look uh, it's it's um it's it's just written this pc click in that in that spot you know it's got a c drive and d drive and micro if you've got a micro sd card it shows all the stuff attached to your p um inside a file explorer what you're looking for is that part which is written this pc click on that and then anywhere in that box because it's usually empty right in the p this pc thing it's usually empty on file explorer there's no there's usually no folders in there just left click in there and and click on properties and it will show you your uh display stuff your settings or your vram or whatever it's 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 just it it normally would take you to con uh to the same ma display manager or uh, i i don't know how every every setting is different on this pc i'm just saying it's it's always different but the, i think i think it would take you to display manager and then it's it's just the other way of doing it i'm i'm not sure if if you know if if i'm not playing games and i'm doing it right like if i'm just doing it i could actually do it on my zen book but i'm i'm watching like i'm i'm letting it play videos and stuff so what i'm saying is so what i'm saying is if if i was if 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 i was i, I you know you know what that's just made me think about something let me see if i go into file explorer yeah it's there there's this pc and this pc is just got the c drive in there you, you just need to click on properties and once you click on properties you just need to scroll down um i think until right um so okay maybe that's not the option i just looked it didn't look like an option that you should be using <laughs> so maybe i've i've used this pc for something else it, it just showed me the advanced features and stuff so maybe it's i think i used that for something else ah damn before i could even fire this guy is on me i'm like that's so weird Look at that. How come it didn't explode? I know you slid past. I'm just saying. Anyway, like like I wanted to say, or I was trying to say, you need to make sure you're running four gigs, um, four G, um, UM, UMA frame buffer on the Steam Deck. What the hell? The same guy. He can't be that good. There's no one that good. It's like before he even sees you. Oh, he just slides across. That's crazy. So he just slides across, and then he he doesn't he doesn't get affected by that mine. That's that's crazy. I'm gonna try that. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening. Maybe because. Okay, so that dude is there. And look, I didn't even get him. That's crazy. Anyway, you need to go into your BIOS on your Steam Deck and change the VRAM. Uh, okay, the you need to change it from 1G to 4G. That That's that's all I can say. The, um, the UMA will be on 1G. You need to change that to 4G. That's basically it. Once you do that, you won't have problems. I don't know, man. This guy has got to be cheating. <laughs> Nobody's that good. It's just, he just knows where you're coming from. I'm like, how? How is that possible? Everybody else here is, is struggling to find out where, where the next person is coming from. And then he's just sliding across. Look at that. Without even aiming, he just fires a shot and he gets me. I'm like, what kind of crazy? Okay, well. Damn. I think these guys are hackers, man. Seriously. One dude knows where you are before he... Look at that mine. It did nothing. It didn't even go up. 
Nothing. These guys gotta be cheating, man. No, it's it's just like he, he kind of knew where I was before I even showed up. So I'm like, how is that possible? Alright, you're that good, but no one's that good. Look at that. These guys are cheating, man. No, I'm serious. This dude knew exactly where I was before I even showed up. Look at that. You see what I mean? It's some kind of, some form of cheating that they're doing. I'm I'm telling you, I'm serious because when I see people that good, I'm just like, no, you cannot predict where I'm going to appear from. That's that's impossible. Look at that dude. I'm not taking it seriously. I'm not saying like, oh, oh, you know, this is a serious match. No. I just, I hate people like that. I hate people who cheat. It's so frustrating. Everybody else is cracking their back, trying to get the best in this game. And some dude just comes with some cheat codes. And, you know, next thing is, he knows exactly where you're at. You can't tell me that's fair. That's not fair, is it? I Listen, I'm not saying I'm the best person to play the game. I'm not the best player in the game i'm just saying you notice these things you do notice stuff oh my god <laughs> 